Let's talk about the highest salaries in 2024. Driving your income to the moon is key to becoming successful financially. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Well, you'd be surprised by the amount of people who get to a certain level in their career and in their financial success and then just stop growing. It's a similar phenomenon to people who attain a certain level of academic success. The temptation to take a break can be irresistible and just to stop learning. But those that resist that temptation and continue to grow, well, they're the real winners in life. But I say all that to say, you should strive for as high an income as possible, particularly if improving your finances is your goal. What is the most common way to increase one's income? Getting a swell job. And here's a list of really swell jobs that pay a lot in 2024. So if you're in the market for a new career, or you're starting your career, think about getting one of these jobs and continuing to grow in it. And I'm gonna start by saying the rumors are true. Doctors and those in the healthcare field are very well compensated. In case there's any confusion on the matter, and as a matter of fact, healthcare related jobs are expected to grow by 13% between now and 2031. So if you think the field is saturated, you're probably incorrect. Let's take a look at some of the top paying fields. Cardiologist, cardiologist at $353,000. Anesthesiologist at $331,000. Oral and maxillofacial surgeon, also at $331,000. Emergency medicine physician, orthopedic, sur orthopedic surgeon, not including pediatric surgeons. Dermatologist, radiologist coming in at number seven. Surgeon coming in at, no at number eight, just falling under $300,000. And a general surgeon, $297,800. Before we dive in, what is the methodology that I'm using to get these numbers on the income levels of certain careers. I simply use the Bureau of Labor Statistics charts. I'll put a link in the description down below if you're interested in that sort of thing. Coming in at number nine, obstetrician gynecologist, just coming in under $300,000. Then, then there's your pediatric surgeon. Remember we talked about earlier, surgeons making a ton of money. Pediatric surgeons also make a ton of money, but less than regular surgeons. And that rounds out your top 10. The next set of jobs with the highest incomes are also in the top 20, but in the top 20, most of the fields that pay the highest. Well, they're still in the healthcare field, for example, at number 11, ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologists that are not pediatricians. Then you have a neurologist. Then there's your orthodontist. Then there's a physician pathologist. Now you have a psychiatrist coming in at just under $250,000 a year. Then you have general internal medicine. Then you have family medical physicians. At number 19, the average of all physicians is just over $230,000. Now, chief executives represent the highest paid profession outside of the medical or dental field. Now, as the highest ranking employee of a company, the CEO well, it's their job to make critical decisions regarding the management team, steer the organization toward new markets or product areas, and interface with boards of directors, etc. Now, these guys are paid much better than the average. That said, many chief executives have daunting schedules. A Harvard Business Review survey found that the average CEO spends 62.5 hours per week on the job, with about half of their time spent in the office and half traveling. And the Bureau of Labor Statistics is expecting chief executive positions to grow by about 6% between 2021 and 2031. So it turns out that CEOs, more and more of them are being created every year, especially as entrepreneurs and others, start to realize that they can start to make their own way and make their own companies. Once you get out of the top 20, now you start getting into fields that are not healthcare related. Nevertheless, a lot of these are still dominated by healthcare fields. For example, there's an airline pilot coming in at just under $200,000. And then comes dentists. Dentists tend to make just over $175,000. And then there are computer and information system managers. A field that I know a little bit about is that is the field that I spent most of my working life in. And I can tell you they're probably about right. Your computer and information system manager makes just over $162,000. Some make more, some make less. But that's your general idea. Those are some of the highest paying jobs available in the United States in 2024. Again, if that's something you're looking to get into and you want a high paying job to help power your financial future, Think about getting into some of those fields. I'm Derek West. This is Finance Squared. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Remember that a goal without a plan is a wish. A goal with a plan and no action is a wish list. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.